everybody, welcome back to HNS Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so, weekly haul. And uh, I think, yeah, I got everything in this pile yesterday. I went out for the day shopping with one daughter while my wife took the other daughter to the scrapbook store um, for the afternoon. Uh, and we hit a few stores and found a cool few, a uh, few cool things. Can't even talk. Um, but first up, not horror or sci-fi, but the Three Stooges got this uh, big box of nyucks, 40 hours of content. Now, what it comes with is this disc that I think everybody has seen around for a long time. It's, it's, it irritates me that it's even out there. It's got like four, maybe even six uh, episodes of the Stooges, but then independent work by Shimp, um, Joe Besser, uh, Curly Joe. Um, it's not that good of a disc. <laughs> uh, but this also includes the uh, uh, animated series, which you know I did not have. Um, and then uh, kind of like a little bit behind the scenes stuff. But the reason I bought this, and it was 15 bucks at Walmart was it has all six Stooges movies. The only one I have ever seen is The Three Stooges Meet Hercules, and I love that one. Want to check out the other ones. Um, and I did not have Three Stooges Meet Hercules, so for $15, I thought it was worth that alone. Um, picked up Black Dog, just on standard def, but uh, as many of you know, we lost Meatloaf this week. Um, I did not have this movie. My mom and I were just talking about it after, you know, hearing that Meatloaf had died. Um, so I got this so I could watch it again because it's been years and then I'm going to loan it to her. Uh, and that was at, uh, this was Walmart, that was FYE. Um, I went to uh, Barnes & Noble and they were having a 20-30% off sale of different things. I think 20% off Arrow steelbooks um and not arrow steelbooks but just arrow videos in general but i found this uh 10 commandments uh 4k and it is uh, uh the 10 commandments in 4k on one disc uh parts one and two on blu-ray and then the original 1923 version of the 10 commandments uh, on Blu-ray, which I have never seen, never seen the original, but I always did like the Ten Commandments. Um, I always said some of the most fantastic uh, overacting ever caught on film is in this movie, <laughs> and like you know Heston and Yul Brynner in it. Uh, at Fye, also I picked up one of these giant figure pins um, of Godzilla. Had seen the little ones. Um, and this is too cool. It's uh, pretty thick, pretty heavy, pretty hefty. Uh, but as you can see, he's pretty tall. So, um, And he does have some kind of a stand on the back of him. So he will uh, probably be up here on the Godzilla shelf, which is you know, right above where I film, um, in the future. Uh, then a, a little store uh, called Book Broker down there. I found the Mego figure for uh, Dr. Frankenstein, Frankenstein, um, from Young Frankenstein, uh, Gene Wilder, and I thought that was just a really good likeness of him at that time. Uh, they had a Eeyore, Marty Feldman, but it looked atrocious. I thought that just looked awful, so I didn't pick it up. I have a couple of other Young Frankenstein figures that are more, more cartoonish in their looks, um, but he'll, he'll go well with those. Then I went to the record store and picked up a few things. First off, uh, the soundtrack to Season 2 of Westworld. This is a three-record set. I think the sticker, which I already threw away, said it may have been like a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's just black vinyl. No uh, colors or anything. But there's really good music in Westworld. Um... I think walking away now, having watched season one, two, I don't know if I'll bother watching three. The show kind of got worse for me as it went, um, but I will say the music was fantastic, so I figured I'd pick that up. Picked up an original press of uh, Batman, um, uh, one from Prince, 
Uh, of course, I've got the score separately, but this is the Prince album that came out at the time, which played all summer long in 1989, if you remember that year. Um, a uh, original copy of E.T. Uh, did not have that in the collection, and uh, you can't have too much John Williams in your collection, so why not? And lastly, uh, the only one that was a colored vinyl uh, is The Matrix. So this is in, uh, it said it was red and blue, red and blue pill uh, swirl vinyl. So it'll end up being a colored vinyl Tuesday at some point. But uh, two record set and uh, some good music on here as well. So that's it for the haul. Not huge, but some good stuff. Um... Expecting a couple cool things in the mail this week. I uh, don't know if I'll get out again like this for the next couple weeks, so we'll just see what the mail brings. Uh, so until next time, everybody stay safe, take care of each other. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.